This is really retarded. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about people's mental history, okay? Somebody asked me before and wanted to know if I was gay. I'm going to explain to you what gay is right now, but first I'm going to tell you about Olive Bent, Gimmo, Dollar, Hey, Vav, Zion. Zion is number seven. And I'm going to show you, I wonder if this, does this, can you see this? Can you see this, audience? You see this? That is a freaking orange zebra. That is an orange zebra. That is an orange zebra. The circle of life is supposed to be the orange lion. The zebra comes from New Zealand. End of Z. End of time. Two and six. Venus and Saturn. Do you see, they made this Hebrew book, Zion is New Zealand, the Baltic and the middle of Titanium. Titanium. Titanium is a planet near, on, up, about, or in the system of Jupiter. Whatever they wrote in the books. What I never read, what you all know, I'm not talking about what you know, it's what I see. Can you see my face in that camera? Because I'm not on the same side as you anymore. That was smooth. I like that. Like, who actually knows who I'm talking to? It's almost like somebody is completely over the camera on the other side, washing my floors. Like, is that what you're thinking? You would never know how come I can feel so free and stand up and put my hands in the sky and show you one more time do you see that zebra? Orange freaking Zion zebra. Yes. That is Zion, my friends. Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalit, Hey, Vav, Zion, Zebra, Orange, Circle of Life, N and Z, the 26th and the 14th letter. You turn one to one side, one to the other side. You capture all the corners. You can use the Z frontwards and backwards. If you start it backwards, you start on Earth. If you start frontwards, you start on Mercury. If you're in low shoe and you're on Earth, you're now on Venus. If you're in low shoe, what was once Mercury is now Mars. The N, which will now begin at the bottom lower of Uranus. If you were in low shoe, you'd be on Neptune. You'd finish at Earth, but now you finish in Venus. Venus is connected to Pluto, creating an 11 because it's all 11, 11, 8 and 3, and 9 and 2. Because H and I is all the same. 3 is part of 2 and 1, and 9 is 8 and 1 all the same itself. Now I have to write that down because I don't remember what I said. And I know I was right anyways because I'm the one who made it up. The truth and the numbers of what I see of what is created because of the reality, because Lo Shu exists all over the world, look it up online. And there, I guess there are somehow nine planets once were, or in the last few years, I'm quite sure I would get a yes that there are nine planets total in the solar system, and let's include planet Earth. You want to include that Pluto is not there, let's say it's eight. But then again, what do you know, because all you're watching is somebody else's television. Eh? You think this Hebrew book is wrong? New Zealand, the 26th and the 14th letter equally to 40. 40. Zero equals six because it is the circle of life. This four and six is ten. Zion, Israel. One, four, six. Zion, Israel. The minute you take the letters O and I, nine and fifteen, twenty-four, you create the letter X. That becomes X. Um, the O is the fifteenth letter, which is V one in Roman numerals. All these have to come together. Now, I know I'm, I said it all wrong. I'm going to have to come back and explain that again. Um, I just want to get back to the NZ. If you put it over N and Z over each other, it crisscrosses and it says 911 in Roman numerals. But if the 1 was actually the I letter, then 9, which is I, is 9, and X is 24, equaling to 33. Or 24th letter, the X letter, the 24th letter in the alphabet, Okay, minus 9 equals to 15. So we got them all the same. We got swa. We got something to do with a swan. So whatever you want to do about Christmas and tell me about them swans. What? Excuse me, lady in the background. Uh, tell me about there are swans in the Christmas song. Tell me, speak out loud, make like there's somebody in the audience. Eight swans. 
swimming. Eight swans are swimming. I want to hear that again. How many swans were swimming? Eight. Is she, should she be embarrassed? Is that the right answer? No, it's not. Oh, here she comes. Now she's not sure. Seven swans are swimming. She couldn't figure it out if it was seven, eight, and nine. And why? Because seven is Zion. Eight is because Zion is inside of Neptune, and man is born through number nine into eight by the seventh gate. Seven swans are swimming. S and S, S and W. S and W, 19 and 23, equally to 42. 42 is the eighth heaven of six. Neptune. Neptune, Saturn. Equally to 6 and 8, 14. And the gateway of 6 and 8 is on the cube of six sides, where the opposite of 6 is 8, where 4 and 4, the opposite is 3 and 3, 6. Where 5 and 3, the opposite is 2 and 4, 6. Where 6 and 2, the opposite is 1 and 5, 6. O I X. Soixante, talking about 60. So remember this over here. Zion, Z and N, equals to 40. 0 equals 6 equals to 46. The minute I make 0 equals 6, I automatically must put a 1. Because the 6 will save both sides, the halfway house. So I now put 146. 6 and 4 is 10, which is J and O, like J Leno. What does Leno mean? Le means L, it means her, it means the eye. What is the eye? Okay, the lens. What is the eye in the lens? And now I'm going to show you this design over here. You have this person. Can you see me properly? I have this person. This person over here, he's looking that way. That's delta. This person, one eye looking that way. Those are the two jacks, right? Here is a set of eyes, and here is a set of eyes. So here's a person, two sets of eyes, the cube in the center, the Jacob's ladder in the center. One person, two persons, and three people. It took these two to create this one in the center. I create one, I create two, I create three, I create four, I create five. I take away this one over here in the center. I now had five. Now I'm down to half, five, and half. Half, four, half. So if I say one is on the outside, half, four, half, because there's only half of an eye. These are the jacks. They split up the jacks. So when they put the two jacks together, they create this face over here. Can you still see me? So this makes one face over here. Now look at this. Watch this. This is one person over here. And this is one person over here. This is only the dividing waters of the mind. Bringing the mind together for the one mind. Here's the actual life. It's right here. One life, the other life. This becomes the bull nose over here. And this becomes just one person. I have another picture in the background. And I seem to be... Somehow it's stuck to my wall, but I'm going to try and get it off. I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm in the picture all right now. But it's the same thing over here. It's, here's the owl over here. Here's the one owl over here on one side, and then the other owl on the other side, and then this is one owl. Here's the football that he eats from above, from one mind listening on this ear, and one mind listening on this ear. After this mind hears and the ears come to within the ear, this can now see of what he knows. His nose comes down here. This is the split between the two knowledges. One heart here and one heart here. The split of the knowledge swallowed by one. The seed, the air, and the rotation of the energy all down right to the ground, right into the ground. I can't explain it any more than you coming in and asking me the question and we discuss it together because who am I to tell you 100% the truth of something that might be uh, completely very logical to one which might say something different and very logical to the other just a different way of seeing every single angle possible so now we can see 
all these people over here, the same thing. I got this. I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah. So I got I got this. It's here. This is here. One. This is here. The other. I put it together and it becomes one. This is what it is all about. To becoming one of all. You're not a girl. You're not a boy. They say stay away from the shikses and the boys. But why? Why? Is it because we have to remember the importance of the word? Shiksa? That's more than one syllable. There must have been something behind the previous letters. A goy, well that's only three letters. And we all know what the goy is all about. It's another door. It's just another door. In French, they wouldn't say boy. They'd say gauche. Gauche. In Hebrew, the thousand or four thousand years ago, they would have said gauchin. You play Monopoly with your friends. The guy says go. It's your turn to play. The race is off. They're off to go. What do you know? I'm here putting on the show. What are you doing in the back? I can see you right now. Time to end this thing, right? We don't want you to go any further than this. So we're going to shut down. So here's the call. Raphael, 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus, standing in front of something I tried to put together, or what we would actually see if I was upside down. Raphael, 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus, thank you for watching this video. In the year 5776, 76 times 76 equals, thank you.